The final part of the demonstration is the creation of a slide to remove the undercut area underneath the oil filter. Turn on the undercut shading to show where this region is. Everything that is red is undercut. Take particular note of the two bosses at the left hand side of the picture. Begin by extracting all of the region for the oil filter itself. Use the solid extract face command, then select the surfaces and temporarily blank them. There is one large hole that needs to be filled. There is also one large hole that is intentional all the way around the outside edge of the part. That can be ignored. The other hole is filled. The part is rechecked to make sure that there are no more faults, which there are not. With the z-axis selected, snap a work plane anywhere on the upper face. Turn on the undercut shading and now create some lines. With the z-axis of the work plane locked, snap a line to the two opposite sides of the red region. Notice that the line is automatically projected onto the work plane. We need a little clearance so offset that line by 3 millimeters. We need some clearance at the sides as well so change the length of the line to 71, hit the reverse button to swap the direction of the line and now set its length to 75. And now we have achieved just over 3 millimeters of clearance on each side. Still with the work plane locked, take a view along Z and draw the first line for the slide between the two bosses. The slide needs to have a little taper the exact amount is not critical, about 2 millimeters, 2 degrees is perfect. Now create the final line to close the shape off. Again, dimensions are not entirely critical. Create a composite curve unlock the work plane and now create a solid extrusion. You can snap the length exactly to the bottom face of the tool that we have created so far. This length is 53.1 millimeters. Activate the slide block and then fill it the three vertical edges that are highlighted with a fillet of two millimeters and then the main upper face as well. We will now attach the main surfaces onto this new slide. With the slide active do a boolean merge operation to join everything into one big solid. Take a copy of this solid just using copy and paste and blank the newly created solid. On the original select the unwanted face
and extracted and deleted. Bring back the original block and change the boolean type from a merge to a remove and that will add all of the mold faces into the slide block. Delete any unwanted wireframe and the work plane and place all of the new tooling pieces onto level 5. Blank the slide and now convert the surfaces for the pocket that we removed earlier into a new solid and blank that too. The parts for the punch side are all on level 10 with a block on level 15. Activate the block and merge everything together. There is a single wireframe curve to help you create the cavity block as well. Set its length to 76 and accept and place that also on level 5. Make sure that the die half is all on level 15 level 10 sorry and turn level 10 off. Activate the new block and remove the cavity. And there is the main tool half created. We need now to incorporate the block that we removed earlier for the pocket so simply reverse it and add it to the main solid. We now have three tooling pieces the punch, the die and the slide. All that remains to do is to cut off the back end of the slide and to give it a heel angle. Activate the slide and using the rear end of the die block as a guide create a vertical line its length is not critical and then a tapered line with an angle of about 30 degrees again this is not critical convert those to a wireframe into a composite curve and then move inboard by about 15 millimeters from this curve make an extruded surface make sure it is long enough to pass through the, the slide block and then a boolean intersect to give us all of the internal region and finish the slide. <laughs>